Hi there. Now in this video I'm just going to be covering parts B and C of this question. Part A, if you're unsure of it, I've done it in a previous video. And the answer I've written here in blue, 0.4. So if you want to just catch up with this question, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you uh, had a go at this one. So for part B then, I need to define a random variable and I'm going to say let that random variable be x and it's going to represent the number of suites that have a length greater than 24 millimeters. So what kind of distribution will x have? Well, what we've got here is a finite number of trials, 20. And we can see that the probability of getting a suite with a length greater than 24 millimeters was found in part A to be 0.4. And events occur at random. You're going to have either success or failure. Success, say, being getting a suite with a length greater than 24 millimeters, and that's going to be having a probability of 0.4. So what we've got here is essentially a binomial distribution. So I'm going to say here where x is distributed binomially and the two parameters will be n and p. n is the number of trials, 20, and p is 0.4, probability of success, getting a length greater than 24 millimeters. So when it comes to part b then, we've got to find out that the probability of at least eight suites then have a length greater than 24 millimeters. So we're looking for the probability of x being greater than or equal to eight. And to do this, we could use the commutative binomial probability tables. They give us the probability of being less than or equal to a given number. So I'm going to have this then as one minus the probability of x being less than or equal to 7. Okay? And if you use your tables, looking up under n equals 20 and p equals 0.4, look down the to the row that has 7 in and you should find you end up with 0.4159. And if you subtract that from 1, you end up with 0.5841. Okay, now for part C, what we're looking for then is the probability that we have two bags, let's just have an intro here by the way, we have two bags which have eight suites with a length greater than or equal to 24. So in other words, that is that the random variable x is greater than or equal to eight on two successive occasions. Well, it's got to be this probability squared. We get the first bag where x is greater than or equal to eight, and we would then want the second bag to have x greater than or equal to eight. So it's gonna be 0.5841 squared. Work that out on your calculator, you find you get 0.3411 and so on. And if we round that to three significant figures, it's just going to be 0.341 to 3SF. Okay?